Hi, this is Allotmenty with Johnny Parker and you've joined me on a really lovely warm Sunday morning in February and I'm in my tatty old greenhouse as you can see and it's it smells really greenhousey. I don't know how to describe it. I think anybody with a greenhouse will kind of recognise that smell. There's something to do with the old wood and the soil and probably all the bits of crap and the old paraffin heater and you mix it all together and it's a fantastic warm comforting smell that really really reminds me of when I was a kid I tell my granddad's and my dad's allotment uh, or green, garden greenhouses used to smell anyway yesterday uh, it was equally sunny and I was even stripped down to my t-shirt I uh, still had the vest on there. Well, it is February, and we did uh, a bit of uh, ground clearing, and we planted some broad beans. So these were the the ones we did. Uh, the Wilco's broad beans, only a quid. Uh, this is Aqua Dulce, and it says that it's suitable for planting in February outdoors. So I was just desperate to get something in, really, having taken over the plot in January. Uh, just like a kid in a sweet shop, I just can't wait to plant something. So uh, this was the first one in after the fruit trees and the rhubarb being transplanted. So I planted about 30 uh, plants, uh, 30 seeds, and I'll just go and have a look at the place where we put them in. So I covered up a piece of ground next to the rhubarb with some more weedproof membrane and I've planted the broad beans in here. Uh, this is what it looked like when I peeled back the plastic that's been covering up the ground here and there's lots of bindweed, in fact loads of bindweed and I've dug all of this out from this 2 meter by 3 meter patch here and what I did was uh, dug it out, raked it over, laid the membrane on top and then uh, I went along and I cut a little cross with some scissors in the membrane and then I poked a bit of manure, horse manure, into the hole and then poked the broad bean seed into the, the hole, uh, just finger depth. So I'm hoping that the membrane will actually warm the ground up a bit more than leaving it open and it will obviously help to stop some of this from growing through and because I only have a little bit of time every week to come down and do some work, it's going to reduce the time I have to spend hoeing. So that's my first proper seed planting. And the next thing is to rake over this and clear out all this weed. And then the next thing I want to plant is some onions and some peas. And I've got some first early spuds. I planted about... 30 seeds and the plot outside but there was some left over uh, I've got about another 15 seeds uh, broad bean seeds so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant them in some pots and then if any of the ones are planted outside don't come up I've got some spares handy to go in and the rest of them I can give away uh, there's always people who want plants so I've got 15 uh, extra Broad bean seeds here, and I'm going to fill up these uh, small plastic pots with a little bit of compost. I'm going to dig some out of the heap at the bottom of the plot, and we'll pop these in. And I might leave them in it, in the greenhouse here and see how they get on. I've filled up the containers with 
some compost from an old compost heap at the bottom of the plot. Uh, it's kind of riddled with bindweed and other stuff, so I've probably like incorporated a lot of weeds into this. So, but it's good stuff by the looks of it. It's really nice uh, and soft. So, I'm just going to plant up these broad bean seeds. I don't think it matters which way you put them in. I mean, in nature, they kind of fall off the the plant any which way, and they would right themselves around. I think they have a gravity driven self writing mechanism which makes sure that the the roots go up sorry the roots go down and the shoots go up so we'll just trust to nature that nature knows what it's doing and we'll just shove the, the beans in any old how and we'll see what comes up now technically I'm going to leave these in the greenhouse so they should come up faster than the ones I've planted under the membrane outside but it'll be an interesting little experiment to see how that works out so here we go I must try and remember to put a label in them as well so we know what they are I know I was slagging off the fact that there was so much glass in this plot everywhere, but there's a piece that's uh, come out of the the roof down here, and I'm just going to pop it over the top of these broad beans. Uh, hopefully that will keep a bit of moisture in and keep a few rodents out, because I know for a fact there's stuff being eating this uh, plastic, and if you can see, it's been chewed. Uh, so there's there's definitely rats or mice kicking around here so a little bit of glass hopefully will keep them off so it's time now for me to do a little bit of work here I'm not going to film it because it's a bit boring really watching people dig but I'm going to clear all this space now another two meter by three meter space to to put the next lot of planting in uh, so join me in that video and if you like this one then give me the thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time on Allotmenty.